kid, little genius, little genius, the little genius kid, little genius, I'm the little genius kid, little genius, little genius, the little genius kid, little genius, little genius, the little genius kid, little genius, little genius, the little genius kid, little genius, I'm the little genius kid. Come on, mom, it's time to go. I'm ready to pop and rock the show. My brain is wired, the neurons fired. I wanna learn and I wanna grow. Come on, dad, it's time to play. I'm ready to learn, so don't delay. Minutes are ticking, my brain is clicking. So off to school, we're on our way. Babies, toddlers, kids galore. The little genius kid is where we'll score. Moms can chill and surf the net. Chat, make friends or nap, you bet. Dad can read a paper or two. Solve a puzzle, figure a clue. So come on, no need to think. My brain is wired to connect and sync. Read, sing, dance and learn. Excessive energy is what I'll burn. So off to the little genius kid. See the results, you'll be glad you did. Little genius, little genius. The little genius kid. Little genius, little genius. The little genius kid. Little genius, little genius. The little genius kid. Little genius. I'm the little genius kid. Little genius, little genius. The little genius kid. Little genius, little genius. The little genius kid. Little genius, little genius. The little genius kid. Little genius. I'm the little genius kid. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Genius Kids on Air, being brought to you by Genius Kids Development. Genius Kids on Air is where kids of all ages learn to think, lead, and communicate. Genius Kids on Air gives kids of all ages the opportunity to raise questions, ask questions, answer questions, develop confidence, and the freedom of speech. Genius Kids on Air radio program is for the whole family, where our weekly topics will encourage all of you at home to engage in healthy discussions, exploring different subjects, points of views, and opinions. In today's fast-paced society, being just book smart and a straight A student is not enough. Our show will teach you to be street smart, no matter how big or small you are. Remember, it is not easy to stand up and speak out for what you believe in, and our show is that avenue for your voice to be heard. A favorite book or thought to share, an unusual career you have picked, your favorite comedian or president, is homework really useful? What is the purpose of spelling B? Is the planet Earth really the only planet we can live on? And are you the next American Idol? And lots more. Right here on Genius Kids on Air, a weekly show on KLOK 11:70 a.m. every Thursday night from 8 o'clock to 8:30 p.m. Tune in every week to hear kids discuss their thoughts, their ideas, and views. Call us any time during the show with your views or chat with our guests. Want to be an RJ? Send us a message on Facebook at Genius Kids on Air, or call me, Miss Rainu, at five one zero three six four four zero three three. Miss our show? No problem. Join us on Facebook or our website, GeniusKidsOnline dot com, and listen to the archive shows. Remember, kids, as Anthony Robbins once said. Life is a gift, and it offers us the privilege, opportunity, and responsibility to give something back by becoming more. Genius Kids on Air is your chance to be that special person. Your mindset needs to be turned around at a very early age. We must become the change we want to see, as Mahatma Gandhi said. So, on that note, stay tuned for thirty minutes of TLC, Think, Lead, and Communicate, presented to you by Genius Kids. Genius Kids. Shreya, how come you are always so relaxed in class and so confident? Yar, you read so well. What do you eat? I kill eat. Well, let's say some of my brain food comes from Genius Kids. Call Genius Kids today. Celebrating a new center on Mission Boulevard in Fremont. Call five one zero six five nine 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 zero zero for a free trial class in preschool, pre kindergarten, kindergarten after school, or public speaking. Call five one zero six five nine 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 zero zero. Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Miss Renu, and we bring back to you after popular demand a show for kids and by kids called Genius Kids on Air. And of course, congratulations once again to Deepa Kalan of the Mission Campus for recently opening her first franchise, and we look forward to another one by Deepa in Newark coming up soon. The purpose of our weekly show is to encourage kids to speak out without fear, express their thoughts, ideas, share their views, share a few laughs, and tons of news. If your child would like to be part of our reporting gurus, as we call them, please call me at five one zero three six four four zero three three. This show is being brought to you by Genius Kids. 
Genius Kids is an award-winning accelerated learning center that has won several local, global, and national awards. We have been rated Best of the East Bay in Services by the East Bay Express publication and was awarded Most Likely Place to Find a Silicon Valley Inventor. That's right, and you're going to be meeting two of them today, as well as described as a school that shapes tomorrow's citizens. And I think our show and our students that you will hear today will speak for this credit. Most of our students are as young as 2.3 years old, and they are already reading and speaking fluently with confidence and the ability to think for themselves. We believe that in order to survive in today's fast-paced, ever-changing world, we need to create those confident, happy, and successful citizens who will become future leaders. Our children are our future, and their brains are like fire waiting to be ignited. Genius Kids is that instrument of ignition and inspiration which has to be applied at the right time between the ages of birth and age six. So remember, campuses all over the Bay Area, Fremont, Arnwood, Central Fremont, and a new one opening right next to the Fremont BART station on June the 18th, as well as new campuses coming up in Newark and Dublin. We offer full-time and part-time daycare to infants, toddlers, preschoolers, pre-K and after school. So call 510-713-2431 for more information. And if you have any questions during the show, give us a call at the radio station at 408-912-5565 for the next 30 minutes and we'll be happy to have you as part of our show. So today we have some exciting news to share by our gurus. So let's begin with our very first guru, our historical guru. Hello, Mr. Ayan. How are you? Hello, Ms. Renu. I How? can't believe I'm on the radio. I know. I can't believe it, too. And I want to congratulate you for winning your Win With Words a few weeks ago. You were fabulous. How does it feel to be a winner again? It feels super. Super? How many have you won so far, Ayan? Two, right? Three. Two or three, I think, already, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So... Are you ready to give me some juice? Yes. Go ahead. Okay, I have a question for you, Ms. Renu. Oh, no, I don't like questions. Go ahead, Ayan. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Mm, I'm hungry. I've not had dinner, but I would say, hopefully I'm right, it is a v vegetable. But where are you going with this, Mr. Ayan? I thought we were going to talk about history. You are absolutely right, but not so long ago, there was actually a lot of confusion about a tomato's identity. I, and really? did you know that in 1893, the Supreme Court ruled that the tomato is actually a vegetable? The Supreme Court? Are you kidding me? Yes. Okay, go on. I think you got some more stuff from me on this one, right? Yep. Well, May 10th is quite an important day. You know why? Nope. You tell me. Oh, because uh, tomatoes became a vegetable. No, because the first Mother's Day was celebrated on May 10th, 1908 in West Virginia. Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot. It's going to be Mother's Day. Oh, happy Mother's Day to everybody. Okay. So, oh, so, Miss Renu, what are Shana Didi and Sheena Didi planning to do for Mother's Day? I bet they are planning to make yummy parakas. You know something, uh, Ayan? I think Shana and Sheena don't want to spend any time with Miss Renu because they work with me all the time. And anyway, Ayan, you, you know for a fact I'm on a serious diet, right? So let's just skip the parathas. Uh, do you have any interesting facts on parathas, by the way? Yes. Actually, I do. Oh, my gosh. A paratha is also called a paranta in India. In Burma, they call it bota. And while in the Maldives, it is called paratha. And in Singapore, it is called roti kanai. Oh, my God. So it's, it's called paratha? So that means when mama wants to give you a thappad and she goes, I'm going to give you a paratha, that means a paratha maybe, right? Yes. Okay, all right. So you're a history guru, and I know you're pulling up some uh, facts on what happened on May the 10th. So we know about the tomato. What else can you give me about what happened on May the 10th in different years before, you know, 2012? What else do you have for me, Mr. History Guru? I have a couple other events, too, that what? happened on May 10th. Okay. One, 
Nelson Mandela became South Africa's first black president in 1994. And two, Amerigo Vespucci left for his first voyage on May 10th, 1497. Wow. Okay, you've really done some good research over here, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> uh, you have some more stuff? Yes. And before I go, there was also one more thing I wanted to share. Okay. Y it's not you know another. The most I hope important it's a event which happened on May tenth. Take a guess. Um. Well, we know the tomato became a vegetable. Now you're going to tell me the tomato became a fruit, right? No. I'll give you a clue. It happened on May tenth, two thousand twelve. I almost got late for my show. Thanks to Mr. Gill not answering my phone. Could it be that? No. I debuted on your show as a reporter, Miss Reno. Oh, my God. Absolutely, Ayan. And you know what? I have to say you were fantastic. And it really makes me proud to say that I am your teacher and I was your teacher when you were a little munchkin. So I'm so thrilled to have you here. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you next week because next week it will be, what date is it going to be? May 17th, right? So you're going to be pulling up some facts on May 17th for us? Yes. Great. And in closing, do you have anything to say to everybody? Yes. Before I sign off, a happy Mother's Day to all the moms listening. This is History Guru Ayansha signing off. Bye. Bye-bye, Ayan, and a very happy Mother's Day to your mom, Seba, and of course to your grandma who's visiting from Mumbai. And you were fabulous, and I'm so thrilled to have you on your show. And we'll be right back after this short commercial break. Stay tuned. Are you confused and tired of trying so many centers and not being able to find the right fit for your child? Maybe you need a fun and rich summer camp or an after-school program that offers academics, sports, dance, music, acting, public speaking, arts and crafts all under one roof. And to add to the icing on the cake, a cute real school bus that can pick and drop off your child to and from school, home or genius kids. Would you like to enjoy delicious home-cooked meals like yummy aloo parathas, creamy vegetable galore khichdi, fresh fruit salad and lots more? Maybe you have a child with ADD, dyslexia, autism who needs an extra special attention. Maybe you have a middle school or high school who needs to learn the ropes of speech and debate. Maybe you have an infant, toddler or preschooler that you would like to enroll. Well, where could you find this wish list? Of course, there are tons of preschools and after-school programs, but let me ask you, how many of them have been featured on CNNMoney.com as the most innovative educational concept? How many of them have been nominated Best of the Bay by Crown 4 Television? How many of them have been featured nationally and globally for their success? Only one, and that is Genius Kids, an independent award-winning learning center founded on the philosophy of never too little to learn, a simple belief that every child is a genius, and as educators and parents, it is our responsibility to awaken the inner genius in each child. Call us today with campuses in Fremont, Ardenwood area, Central Fremont, Mission San Jose, Fremont, right across from Maloney College, and a new location opening right next to Fremont Park Station and in Newark, as well as San Ramon. We are here to offer you that extra special attention. However, due to an overwhelming response, please call us only if you want the best and nothing but the best for your child, since we will settle for nothing less than that. Call 510-713-2431. That's 510-713-2431 or visit GeniusKidsOnline.com. Okay, and I'm back, and this is Miss Rainu from Genius Kids. And for those who've just tuned in, you're listening to Genius Kids. We are back after popular demand. And, of course, this is a show for kids and by kids. And you just listened to our his history guru called Ayan Shah calling from Pleasanton. And Ayan, of course, shared some amazing juicy facts. But the problem is he talked about food, and I am very hungry. And he told us that, did you know, on May the 10th in 1893, kids, the Supreme Court ruled that the tomato is a vegetable and not a fruit. So be sure to share that with your teacher tomorrow when you go to school. And another thing he shared with us is that today was a very important day back in 1994 because Nelson Mandela was inaugurated as South Africa's first black president. And that's very special for me because I'm from East Africa, from Kenya, and I have a special bond to anything that happens in Africa. And now we are going to move on to some tech news. After all, we are in the Silicon Valley, and how can you not have a techie guru? So let's welcome our tech guru of the Silicon Valley, Ashmit. Hi, Ashmit. Are you there? Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you? 
Hi, Ms. Reno. How are you? Good. Have you eaten some parathas and tomatoes after listening to Ayan's conversation? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Are you going to eat some parathas? Yes. Okay. Well, make sure your mom cooks a few for me. I'll be heading over. Okay. Okay. So, all right, Mr. Ashmit, I, I believe you've got some tech news for us to share. So, go ahead. Hello, listeners. Welcome to KLOK 1170 AM. I am Ashmit Gaba, the techie guru for Genius Kids on Air. Some of you might remember me as a Bollywood Hollywood news reporter or Bolly Holly guru on Ms. Reno's air show last year, which was by the kids and for the kids. Now I am returning in Ms. Reno's show again, but this time with Silicon Valley Tech News. I will provide technology news, and I will also give you one cool tip each week for your iPhones, iPads, or other gadgets. Okay, Ashmit. So you're going to be teaching us how to use iPhones? You know, you need to give me a private class. I have no idea how to do this. So I'm so happy to have you back. And what a change from Bali, Holly News to Tech Guru, right? So let's begin. What do you have for us today, Ashmit? The scientists at NASA were able to detect light from an alien planet also called a super Earth using a telescope. This alien planet or the super Earth is twice the size of our own Earth and orbits a star 41 light years from Earth. This planet was discovered in 2004, but until now, scientists have never managed to detect the infrared light from the super Earth world. This is called historic achievement and will open further more researches. Okay, so Ashmi, let me ask you, do you think I could head out there? Are they charging taxes on that new planet? Because you know what? I don't want to be paying any more taxes. I'm done. <laughs> okay, so what's next? What else do you have for me, Ashmit? Well, on another note, many of you must be waiting for the IPO of Facebook. The company would be worth up to $96 billion with the offering and is planned to file for initial public offering on May 18th. This IPO is one of the most highly anticipated in recent years, and the stock price would range from $28 to $35. Did you know a story captivated on the web this week that in 1845, President Lincoln had tried to patent an idea which is very similar to Facebook? According to the blogger on this website, the idea from President Lincoln was rejected by the U United States Patent and Trademark Office. Well, no comments from me on that note. Good luck to you all on this IPO. Yes, really, Ashmit, I'm telling you, you're giving us all this good juice. But you know what? Some of these decisions that the government makes, I, I don't know about that. You know, anyway, we have elections coming up. Hopefully we'll make some good right choices this time. So I believe you have a tip for me. Yes, I do. The tip is how to choose an accent for a word on your iPhone or iPad. For example, if you want to type cafe with a tick on the letter E. Here is how you can do that. While typing an email in your iPhone or iPad, if you hold down any letter, you will see a pop-up after a few seconds, which will allow you to choose the accent. Try it today. Until next time, listeners. Have a great week. Thanks, Ms. Reno. Thanks, Ashmit. It was wonderful having you. And you know, both Mark and I are sitting here going, really? So did you hear that, everybody? Next time you want to choose an accent for a word on an iPhone or iPad, all you need to do is, for example, as Ashmit said, if you want to type cafe with a tick on the letter E, while typing an email in your iPhone or iPad, if you hold down any letter, you will see a pop-up after a few seconds, which will allow you to choose the accent. So try today, and remember, that tip came from our techie guru, Ashmit. And for those who have just tuned in, you're listening to Genius Kids On Air, being brought to you by Genius Kids. And if your kids would like to be part of the show to develop their confidence, communication skills, and, of course, be part of the community and share their ideas and views, then give me a call at 510-364-4033. This is the opportunity, parents. I know a lot of you spend a lot of time driving around, going to karate clubs and going to dance school and music classes and piano and you name it. But how many of us actually think about the importance of public speaking? 
Today, in today's competitive world, you can have all these amazing skills of karate, black belt, piano, music, you name it. But if you can't converse, you can't speak, you don't have the confidence, where are you going to be? So remember, guys, we used to all gather in the room to listen to the late Steve Jobs because of the power of his voice. And that is why I call it Win With Words. And that is what you need to be doing with your children today. Enroll them in a public speaking class. You can give us a call at 510-713-2431. And your kids will be just like Ashmit and Ayan. And on that note, we'll be right back after a short break. Stay tuned. Shreya, how come you are always so relaxed in class and so confident? Yaar, you read so well. What do you eat? Akhil, eat? Well, let's say some of my brain food comes from Genius Kids. Call Genius Kids today, celebrating a new center on Mission Boulevard in Fremont. Call 510-659-9900 for a free trial class in preschool, pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, after school, or public speaking. Call 510-659-9900. Okay, and I'm back again, and this is Miss Renu on Genius Kids on Air, being brought to you by Genius Kids and Genius Kids Development. And again, if you'd like to be part of our show, give me a call at 510-364-4033. Next week, we will have another young lady joining us called Shreya, who will be bringing us health and fitness news for all the kids. Now, for those who've just tuned in, for the parents as well, I do have some stuff for you. As we wrap up our show here, this is a segment for the business entrepreneurs. In today's job market situation and economy, many people are exploring the option of going into business for themselves. Yes, sure, you may have a great idea and have always wanted to start one of your own. Or maybe you think that there are too many preschools and after schools coming up, when I, so why not start your own preschool? Well, let me give you some statistics, guys. An independent business operator takes a lot of risk when they try to launch a new business. Starting a business from scratch is hard work, and more than half of the new businesses fail to become profitable. So why would you venture into getting a franchise? The success rate for franchises is 90%. Franchising is a growing industry, and consider these facts. The franchising industry employs over 8 million people in the United States. The annual payroll for franchises is more than $229 billion. That's right, I said billion. A new franchise is 2.5 times more likely to succeed than a non-franchise business. Franchising generated one out of every seven jobs in the private sector. So if you're interested in opening your own after school or your own preschool or daycare, then rather than try your own what we call mom and pop idea, you need to give us a call because now Genius Kids has become a national franchise and we have several opening in the Bay Area. So the things you need to think about before you invest into a business is how much money do you have to invest? How much money can you afford to lose? That's right. That is a very important thing to remember before you go into business. Will you purchase a franchise yourself or bring in partners? Will you need financing? Do you have favorable credit? Do you have savings or an additional income to support your business while it's taking off? These are the kind of things we will support and help you with to figure out whether you're going to be the right candidate for what we look at at Genius Kids. And if you decide to proceed with Genius Kids, then guess what? We already have a model that is proven and successful. After all, can you think of any other learning center that's been featured on CNNMoney.com? Nope. And why? Because of my kids. Exactly, because of Ashmit and Ayan and hundreds of children that have gone through the program of Genius Kids. Our program is reliable. We give you the tra training that's needed and, of course, brand name recognition. And on that note, I hope you've really enjoyed our show. And remember, Genius Kids will be back every Thursday night at 8 o'clock. So if you need any advice on your kids, starting a business for yourself, or you just want to chat with me, give me a call at 510-364-4033 because I need to go grab myself a nice juicy tomato, which I've learned is a vegetable, or one of those farratas or paratas. And until next time, thank you, Marco, for being such a wonderful support system for me. And I love being back on KLOK. And guys, all those who are listening out there, remember, this is the best station to be on. KLOK 1170 AM. So if you're listening to anything else, turn it off and come right back to KLOK AM. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Come back to 1170 AM and you will hear the best shows. Until next week, stay happy and happy Mother's Day. Are you confused and tired of trying so many centers and not being able to find the right fit for your child? Maybe you need a fun and rich summer camp 
or an after school program that offers academic sports dance music acting public speaking arts and crafts all under one roof and to add to the icing on the cake a cute real school bus that can pick and drop off your child to and from school home or genius kids Would you like to enjoy delicious home cooked meals like yummy aloo parathas, creamy vegetable galore khichdi, fresh fruit salad and lots more? Maybe you have a child with ADD, dyslexia, autism who needs an extra special attention. Maybe you have a middle school or high school who needs to learn the ropes of speech and debate. Maybe you have an infant, toddler or preschooler that you would like to enroll. Well, where could you find this wish list? Of course, there are tons of preschools and after school programs, but let me ask you. How many of them have been featured on cnnmoney.com as a most innovative educational concept? How many of them have been nominated best of the bay by Crown 4 Television? How many of them have been featured nationally and globally for their success? Only one, and that is Genius Kids, an independent award-winning learning center founded on the philosophy of never too little to learn, a simple belief that every child is a genius and as educators and parents it is our responsibility to wake up the inner genius in each child. Call us today with campuses in Fremont, Ardmore area, Central Fremont, Mission San Jose, Fremont right across from Maloney College, and a new location opening right next to Fremont Park Station and in Newark as well as San Ramon. We are here to offer you that extra special attention. However, due to an overwhelming response, please call us only if you want the best and nothing but the best for your child, since we will settle for nothing less than that. Call 510-713-2431. That's 510-713-2431 or visit geniuskidsonline.com.